Oh, all right, everybody. We are back. Story mission 12 of the ascent. I think we're getting near the end here. Who knows? I've been wrong about that before. Call it unhandled exception. Continuing right where we left off, right into the men gen facility. Going in. That's it hard. A little spicy, just a little spicy.
Oh, easy, easy. Holy. He's up at the house, right? Okay, that got very spicy. Uh, almost didn't make it through. Is there any? Don't know about any things to heal us from box delivery. We're just going through. Oh yeah. Tremendous change. Different species harness the power of science to reach for the stars, to colonize distant worlds. But though we've come far, one last barrier has always held us back. Travel between worlds has been slow, arduous, and done at immense cost. Now, that will change. With the Menshen portal, we will travel instantly among the stars. With it, we will control the galactic market and restore the Ascent Group to its former glory. Ascenders for the Ascent Group! What are you fighting a bunch of Ascenders? If those deluded Which means? only knew they're working for Malhorst Gelb. Ah, oh, the irony. Team! Passion! Commitment! Open the Menshen Gate! <laughs> Ah! That was close, that was close. Oh, it's game back here, it's game.
snap, and snap back. That might be the key in that snap back. I need it to. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's so many. Oh my goodness. Look at them all. Oh, what a perfect time to level up. Except I can't move. So many things happening. It snapped me back into nothing. I must have used it at nothing. No. Pick that up. here octopus cthulhu creature like thing get out of here i gotta fight again man really well done operative oh destroyed the gate generator it'll be some time before we can get the prototype functional again Do you turn back on our deal Horst Gelb might have failed to acquire mention but they did succeed in Better destroying not. the ascent group we know noghead has told you the truth behind protocol 61a that y corp was incepted as part of an ascent group emergency backup plan the subterfuge was necessary we had to avoid unwanted malhorst gelb attention until we could ascertain the scope of their powers the original intent was then to revise the Ascent Group, but certain powers have decided that this will not be. The Ascent Group AGI will be taken offline again, and the hardware repurposed. The damage caused was too extensive. Y Corp owns Mansion. The Ascent Group will remain dead, and Malhorst Gelb will be confronted in due time. What's left of the Ascenders will be repurposed. You did your part in all this to the best of your limited abilities. Your contract is hereby fulfilled. Sweet. Are you still keeping up? We have upgraded your status in the Intercorp database. Oh, you did. Sweet. And you are now an independent contractor. Hey! The usual NDAs are, of course, in place. Of course. Speak a single word of this, and we will have you terminated. Word of what? I don't know. What you doing? I'm just doing my business. 
nice work, pal. Arguably with some assistance for myself, but still. Absolutely. Very impressive. I took the liberty to install a small back door into the Mansion OS. Kira knows, but she can't remove it without destroying the gate. It's the sole reason you and I are still alive. There's nothing like a bit of mutually assured destruction to bring a corp to heal. My dude. No need to thank me, bud. Join me in Terraline instead. Level 72 now. Oh, look at this guy leveling up. Good for him. Okay. We fulfilled the contract and we're an independent contractor. Does that mean the game's done? Oh! That means the game is done. Well. Well, well, well. There we have it. Hmm. Well. Aside from day one issues, which always happens on day one, it just, it, there's always bound to be bugs on, and whatnot. We are having some connectivity issues with the multiplayer, and we are having some sound issues, but they did release a patch that's, I don't know quite when, it might have been like a week or a month after or so, they, and with that patch, it must have fixed a bunch of the things. I haven't really tried to play co-op again, because my buddy's kind of lost interest in it, but... I continued with the solo aspect and um i had a good time i enjoyed i've enjoyed the game the story was was okay it was what it is um i mean it you really you really have to do pay attention to the cutscenes and the story like our, the individual text bubbles that pop up at the top and everything to get the whole thing but all in all it wasn't too bad uh i do like the top down gunplay i like the, that aspect of it all the different kind of weapons you could get seemed pretty interesting some of them were just like your generic kind of ones but some of them are a little bit more fun uh the abilities though were pretty cool having being able to like summon a mech suit summon in the spider drones i got another one i didn't you guys didn't see me use it i didn't actually really use it yet but i summon um little, little drones that have like sights that spin around and go after people that also looked pretty cool but I just I couldn't say no to the spiders plus uh, I had my cybernetics maxed out or almost maxed out so I had a ton of bots due to that so that was all fun the some of the outfits and everything all pretty good I just wish you could kind of make your guy look however you wanted at whatever time although maybe that's what the other person's for and I didn't actually fully get into that um, if so my mistake but all in all it's pretty good and especially for a game pass game it being free on game pass like uh, well, of course, you paid the subscription to Game Pass. But aside from that, it's, it's, it's fantastic. You can't go wrong here if you just want to sit down and kind of lay back and have some fun doing stuff. It's nothing too big or too serious. Like, in terms of combat, it's you, you just point and shoot. But it, it had a bit more with the up and down aiming, and you got to go behind cover a lot. I did find that a lot more. You definitely needed to go behind cover. As you guys saw throughout my gameplay, I <laughs> did die a few times. So, you gotta stay on your toes. But, uh, yeah, it was good. I had fun. Um, the side quests, though, uh, at the beginning, I did run into issues with the side quests via some bugs. Um, but after that patch, the bugs kind of vanished. It's just a lot of the side quest areas were seemingly locked behind places that I didn't have access to because I hadn't been there in the main story quest yet. So, that kind of put a damper on things like, for instance, one of the ones wanted you to go to, uh, I can't remember the name, someone with an S, Stim, Stim Park or something. Uh, I can't remember the name, it's blanking on me right now, but you had to go there, but I didn't have access to go there, and then I finally got access to go there to finish the side quest, once I was like level 20, but the side quest was like a level 5 side quest. So it, some of that aspect was a little bit weird. Um, it made it very easy to, at like level 20, just to go back and go through all of the side quests and just destroy them because I was at such a higher level than what they needed me to. But it did give you a nice little, me at, <coughs> sorry, it did give me a nice little bump up at the end. So we got something here. Hold up. We just received word. Contact with Decane has been lost. It seems the gate prototype suffered a catastrophic malfunction and was destroyed. I'm not surprised. It was a pipe dream to begin with. What of our losses? Significant, but within projections. 
Unfortunately, we lost the AGI imprint credentials. Does this guy have a base? The gate itself was more stable than we've seen before. The Ascent Group, however, will likely never recover. We don't need the Ascent Group. Get the telemetry over to the other facilities, but tell no one about the other side. I'll communicate with our benefactor. As always. Hmm. The Ascent 2! Coming soon. Call it 2023-2024? Maybe. But yeah, that, the end of the side quest did kind of bump me up towards the end there. And help with those last few levels. But looks like that will do it, everyone. We'll see what it loads into here real quick. See if uh, we unlock anything. Mission complete. Unhandle that. Got that in key. Been a contractor now, baby. I don't think so. Alright. Let's show us something. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. Maybe I can go there now. The last couple side quests that I can do to get into the area. <laughs> Alright. That'll do it, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and it enjoyed these gameplay videos of The Ascent. As I said, I did enjoy the game, and uh, you should definitely check it out, and hopefully the co-op works a lot better now that the patch went through. I should have tried it again, but I didn't end up trying it again. But maybe you guys can let me know if you guys try it. Let me know how it goes. Till then, have an absolutely wonderful day, and as always, stay high. Well, all right, everybody. Looks like that will do it for the ascent. That was the final story mission, unhandled exception. And uh, I won't be doing any videos on the side quests because a bunch of them were bugged, and I've just kind of been bl blew through them once the uh, patch came through. So uh, definitely go back and check out the side quests for yourself because uh, the, the, after the patch, it did fix a bunch of the bugs, and uh, some of them are very particular. You have to talk to spe very specific people to open up the areas to then go into that area for the side quests. It can be a little tricky, but like I said, that will do it for the ascent. The game was quite fun. I did I do enjoy the top down aspects and like the dungeon crawling. Uh, the shooting was fun and a bunch of the uh, extra abilities, like the kind of tools that you got and gadgets that you got, were quite fun. Um, but until next time, hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day. And as always, stay hydrated as hydration is key.